Joe Lamb with Clearwater Industries. We're going to do a walkthrough video with our new Model 3000 stainless steel big bag dry polymer system. This unit features a 3000 gallon aging tank which allows for 60 pounds per hour of half percent solution or 30 pounds per hour of quarter percent solution dry anionic or cationic solution. We're using our handoff auto automation system here. The operator can manually override any of the components here or set everything to auto to automatically batch and prepare polymer. To deal with this consumption, we use super sacks or big bags, uh, 1,650 pounds. Operator has access to the drawstrings here to load the super sacks and the wetting bowl here to check on the solution. We're utilizing our new conical wetting bowl for initial makedown. To get water into the system, we're using our two inch stainless steel dilution water plumbing. Given the height of the system, we've added a stair here so an operator can come up and make adjustments to the system uh, without the use of a ladder or anything. We've removed the polypropylene cover to expose access to the aging tank, the mixer and the drawdown chamber. You can see here we've got our overflow weir. The solution in this portion of the tank stays full and overflows into this chamber. That allows for a real simple operation without transfer pumps or dump valves. We do a complete wet functionality test on every system we manufacture. That means the system just needs to be plumb, placed, and powered when it arrives on site. For power requirements, we've got 30 amps on this unit, 480 volt three phase. We can also do 575 for our Canadian partners. To plumb the unit, we've got a two inch water connection. That needs to be between 50 and 120 gallons per minute of dilution water. And then you're gonna want a three inch line out for the polymer solution out. And finally, you have it placed. That's probably the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do. You need a, a ground that's gonna be capable of supporting 30,000 pounds with all the weight of water that we have on this unit.